welcome to the Fantasy Football Fix. I am Richard from the Dipsy Dudes and a Happy New Year to you all. I hope you had an enjoyable and points filled festive period. But you know what? Holidays are over. It's time to get serious again. Whether you've been doing well so far this season or whether you've been having an absolute mare things could get turned upside down in the next few game weeks. There are suspensions, there's injuries, there's players returning from injuries, there's the African Cup of Nations, there's the Asian Cup, there's the January transfer window, and there's the January wildcard window. Uh, seriously, guys, it is on. It is on like Pantillamon. So, let's get straight into the Game Week 21 players for your consideration. Okay, so there are two huge international tournaments affecting the Premier League this month. The African Cup of Nations emanating from Equatorial Guinea from January 17th to February 8th and the AFC Asian Cup emanating from Australia from January 9th to the 31st. Below you'll see all of the players who will be away on international duty. The biggest omissions arguably being Swansea's Wilfred Borney and Man City's Yaya Torre who are selected by roughly 10% uh, of managers respectively for each man. So let's have a look at some of the attacking and midfield options to replace these and other players that are off for international duty. First in attack, answer me this. Who is the most informed England striker in the game today? That's gotta be, that's gotta be Kane! That's gotta be Kane! Harry Kane has been in storming form. 48 points in his last five games. That's five goals, three assists, and 10 bonus points in that time. Spurs have a trip to Crystal Palace this weekend, followed by games against Sunderland and West Brom. He is a great replacement if you've got the likes of Sacco, uh, Duf at Stoke, uh, Papa Cissé, or even Borny, as Kane is coming in at less than six million, so he is a cheap alternative. Another cheap option, but a little bit more left field, is Peter Crouch. The big man looks strong against Man United in his last league encounter, and while his form hasn't been great before then, Stoke find themselves away to Arsenal and Leicester in the next two games, then hosting QPR. I think he might have a shot at muscling those defenders and getting points. Plus, with Duke gone, he'll get more game time, much like Bojan, who had an absolutely beautiful boxing day against Everton, but then got a knock. Could be back this weekend though, so something to look for there. Again, if you're looking at a 5.6 or a 5 million pound respectively option, they could be another budget option for you. But what if you fancy spending some money, making it rain up in this bizzler? Well, how about Diego Costa? Costa has three goals in his last six games and has kept scoring despite Chelsea's quote-unquote slump. This weekend, Chelsea go up against Newcastle at the bridge, so quite simply, fill your boots with Chelsea players, because this ain't gonna be a repeat of the reverse fixture earlier this year. There's points to be had for Chelsea players this weekend. If you're looking for something a little bit different up front and you've got the money, it's time to think about Falcao. Two goals and an assist and four bonus points in his last four games, he's now starting games more regularly and is looking more involved in the play. Is he going to become a revelation? A second half to the season revelation? Is he going to become the Falcao of old? There's glimmers of it. Is it time to gamble on him for 10.5 million? I mean, he is going to be getting some great service from a player who's just returning from injury, Angel Di Maria. 
Di Maria had a goal scoring return in the FA Cup last weekend against Yeovil and Di Maria will be looking to regain the form that he had at the start of the season. So far he's played 10 league games, he's scored 3 goals, he's got 6 assists and with United facing a tough test at home to Southampton this weekend followed by home and away games to QPR and Leicester respectively he's 9.4 million and he's nothing but class. Keep an eye out. Another midfield option for those with Torre money burning holes in their pocket, stick with Man City and go for David Silva. We spoke about him before Christmas and he obliged by getting 38 points in 4 games with 4 goals and an assist. He'll be going up against Everton at Goodison Park this weekend and with Everton being freaking atrocious as of late in the league I can see that form continuing he's a points dynamo at 9.3 million but what if you need a cheap midfield option personally I'm all about that boy about that boy no trouble I'm all about that boy about that boy no trouble he's the best cheap midfielder in the game today costing 4.6 million and grabbing 61 points this season including getting two goals and assists and his last four games and with Burnley going up against QPR this weekend he's got a good chance of continuing that form he's also a good option if you're looking to replace the likes of Jedniak Key or Balassi in your team. Sticking with Burnley, then hosting the QPR this weekend. Could it be time to take a roll of the dice on them defensively? Now they haven't had a clean sheet in five games, but with QPR's awful, awful away record, it might be worth a shout. However, there's an interesting dynamic in that game with Stone Cold. Charlie Austin going back to Turf Moor. He hasn't scored in his last two games though. Is now the time for him to get back into goal scoring form? Finally, looking at where clean sheets can be had, what about Aston Villa? They've had two clean sheets in a row. Can they make it three for three? They are away to Leicester, who have been doing better as of late. Though they couldn't have been doing much worse. I mean, I was even looking at a couple of Foxes players to maybe mention as possible options to bring in uh, for any players that might be out for yourselves. And I was looking at who's in form lately, and I went, hey, Marez is in form, though bang! He's off to the African Cup of Nations. After that, I think their most informed player is my old favourite, Alua, who is in about 2.8 form, if that. Their next informed player is Schlapp, and he's off as well on international duty, so they haven't got any informed players despite their slight resurgence in form. Long story short, if you're on a Villa defender or Brad Guzan, I'd say stick with them for now. The Dipsy Dudes Divisional Championship. It was a low scoring week for the teams at the top of the league, but Latchford again stays top of the pile. But messing around and Rentowag are still chomping at the bit. But look out for the likes of Ajax, Trees 11, Shoulder Shrug, Emoticon, the Better Than Knicks, and Bez's Bad Boys, who are one big week away from getting right in the mix. So the January wildcard window is now open and a couple of people have been asking me the last few weeks about joining the Dipsy Dudes Divisional Championship. Uh, people who've been here from the start will remember that we closed it in game week six. But in the spirit of the January wildcard window, I have decided that the league will be open again to new entrants. So you've got from now until the close of game week 23 to enter but remember in this league we play to win here's the information for you right that's about it for this game week thank you very much for joining us remember if you like what you see click the old like button leave us a comment or hit the subscribe button to ensure that you get the latest Dipsy Dudes videos as soon as they're released. Stuff like our Game of the Year video with Adam, feel free to check that one out. In fact, I tell you what, I want you guys to be interactive on this one. I've got a question for you for the next couple of weeks. It's the January wildcard window. I want to know when you play your wildcard. Once you've played it, leave us a comment and let us know 
when you played it and how many transfers you made. I'm interested to see who's made the most transfers in one shot. If anyone's done the full 15, I definitely want to hear about it and see a screenshot as well. Let us know in the old comments section or you can go to our discussion group at fiso.co.uk. Links to that and all our social medias are all in the description. But until next week, thank you again. Good luck to all you managers out there for this coming game week. It's game week 21. And you want to play 21? I got 22. You want to play blackjack? I got two of those too.